guys, first of all. Scath is... Okay, this thing was announced only two weeks ago, but it's... Scath is actually coming to both generation of consoles and PCs. We're hearing mid to late 2022. Scath promises an intense, blood-soaked experience filled with the deadliest demons in which you play the role of Scath himself, which is a dude in charge of all legions of hell. Check it out. The Valor Digital just went on and released a third official gameplay trailer for Shadow Warrior 3. Then confirmed the game's indeed hitting past generation of consoles and PCs come March 1st. The Shadow Warriors, in my opinion, is a good old fashioned first person sh okay, action shooter. I definitely recommend the first two games in its series as well, which they're actually both on sale on Steam right now, but anyway. Here we are, the game's available today, and here's another look at Shadow Warriors 3. So pumped up right now. It slices, it dices. Listen, I know your experience probably differs than mine, but I am having a blast. Eat this. Unstoppable, baby, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> cool party, dudes. Feel the thunder. Moving on, we have Witchfire. This is the one and only Souls-inspired mythological first-person shooter announced basically three years ago, what some of you might have even heard to be a cancelled project, but n n no, not, not really. Witchfire is actually set to come out soon, we hear. What's from its developers is that it's coming out in early access phase initially, then at its full about a year later. Check it out to accompany the news. They also came up with this. Oh guys, 3D Realms uh, just revealed that they will be taking over the publishing rights for Rip Out. Some of you might know Rip Out, this game was announced actually more than a year ago with only some kind of a CGI and what was described to be a co-op first person shooter or a survival horror game, both actually. Now here's the good news. This game's now a next generation exclusive, also coming to PCs, it'll be released later this year and here's a new trailer. On second hand, we have Final Form that was revealed by its developers last year in what seemed to be a sci-fi shooter RPG. Now, this project's only being referred to by the working title Final Form, so it's yet to be given a name. The game itself can be played solo or in co-op for up to three players. It's been in development for around two years, however, and eventually now coming to both generation of consoles in addition to PCs, if we're lucky, later this year. To sum it up, War Stride Challenges is the improbable mashup between Doom, Trackmania, and Super Meat Boy. 
All right, guys, take a look at West Ride Challenges. It's a totally brand new first person shooter with platformer and racing elements. Well, what developers of which describe to be a deliberate cross between Doom, Trackmania, and Super Meat Boy. Okay, Dream Power Games, the fine folks behind the project, revealed War Stride with a free demo a week back, which is unavailable now, unfortunately, in addition to this trailer, and said the full game comes out soon. Soon in like about a month from now, so just keep it in mind for now. Take a look. And multiplayer. In addition to classic leaderboards, we've developed a very special feature called the Nemesis system. You can add anyone as a nemesis. That means you can compete directly with your favorite streamers or YouTubers and try to beat them on all levels. It's a lot of fun and will really push you to do your best and improve your skills. You prefer to play live against other players? No problem, we have that plan too. You will be able to compete against other players in real time and create cups on several levels. Think about it as Mario Kart cups, just perhaps a bit more brutal. Look at you, hacker. Uh, about you and your friend Diego. A, a pathetic creature of, of, of meat and bone. All right. If you should know, System Shock, the original from almost 20 years ago, was one of those games that ended up, practically speaking, defining gaming for adventure first-person shooters, if we're talking PCs only. Since, we, you know, the PlayStation 1 came out the same year, that's 1994. Now here's the thing, if you are new to this, System Shock Remastered or Remake might just be the perfect opportunity to get to know about the whole System Shock thing, which if you should know, once again, has been in development since seven years ago. This game's now coming to PCs and consoles sometime later this year. Ever wonder how it all ends? What if it ended with a song? Now, still, if you're a classic first-person shooter fan, from almost a half a century back like myself, there's a good chance you know about Metal Helsinger already. If not, though, it's a rhythm-based shooter developed by the Outsiders and been worked on since almost three years ago. The thing about Metal Helsinger, though, is that the rhythm material in this game is a big deal of it, too. So if you don't appreciate that specifically, try to avoid this game, but if you do, Metal Helsinger is at the moment expected to come out later this year and into PCs and consoles of next generation. Check it out. So, moving on, there's Proteus, which if you're a fan of old school shooters like Heretic, Quake, Red Faction, whatever, I think you'll most definitely have a soft spot for. Proteus, now to be fair, is actually one of the most eye-catching, you know, visually stunning, impressive, but at the same time jam-packed with gore and fast-paced action things in, in the making right now. And if you don't believe me, this game is actually sitting on Steam through early access since two years ago, so you can check it out for yourself. The game is actually coming to the Nintendo Switch as well, and it's full for both platforms soon.
Now Exomeca on the other hand was just delayed and will now be coming to the Xbox consoles in addition to PCs not no more early 2022 but late 2022. I think Exomeca is actually the only free to play game in this list that m might even fall under the category of a tri AAA game, I don't know. It's a shooting game at heart, but with a lot of giant mechs and a whole lot of next generation graphics to spend time with. Anyway, take a look. We have Abysses, on the other hand, which is a roguelike, Bioshock-inspired first-person shooter, as far as the eye, eyes could tell, revolving around an advanced underwater civilization. Now, this game was announced no more than a few months ago. It is now planned to release on PCs next year and described as a brine punk first-person shooter, which is, I believe, somewhere between Steam and Cyberpunk. Check it out, we can also push this the game on Steam right now. Item 42 and published by Handy Games. Moving on, it's Parish, a stylish four-player first-person shooter with some sort of painkiller formula. You know, painkiller, the game. At least it reminds me of it in, in a few ways. Now, taking inspiration from old school and modern games as well, where you have to slay hordes of creatures, bosses, so that you can eventually gain access to Elysium, which is basically heaven on, on Earth. So check it out, This, if you like your games as a co-op, I guess, with the fast-paced action, do keep your eye out on Perish. This game we hear releases on Steam, possibly in just a few months from now. Their quest to find the afterlife ends violently. Guided and frankly misguided by the priestesses of Orpheus, you as one of the Amietri, unable or unwilling to perform the Orphic trials in the mortal world, are fighting your way through Pantheon towards Elysium. The result is a never-ending battle amongst the dead. One and all aim to complete the twelve tasks of purgatory, reliving the suffering of the Olympian god Dionysus in order to prove themselves worthy of the company of all. And last but not least we have Sprawl, which is a retro-inspired first-person shooter set in some sort of cyberpunk metropolis. Now, Sprawl comes with its own twists as well. It's it's a voice in your head and it's causing all that is chaos. Here's the thing. Sprawl's been in the making for quite a while now actually and possibly do well later this year. It could go up to next year, but in case you've missed out, this is what the game's all about. Huh. <laughs> 